Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company accounting video. In this video, we will be going over the break-even point specifically for when we are calculating the break-even point in units. Now, just a reminder that this spreadsheet here can be found on our website at tlctutoringcompany.com. Um, I will include a link to the spreadsheet as well as the web page that goes over break-even point in the description. All right, so just to kind of get started here with break even point, hopefully you all already have a really good understanding of contribution margin and how that works in general, because that's going to be important for us understanding how to calculate break even point. So when we are calculating the break even point in units, we are calculating how many units we have to sell in order to have our revenues equal our costs. So the formula we are going to be using today is going to be fixed costs divided by our unit contribution margin. So let's start taking a look at what we have today as far as break-even point in units. I'm going to hide a few of these lines just to make it a little bit easier for us to see. Okay, so our first one says that we have a company that sells its units for $30 per unit and has a variable cost of $17 per unit. The company has fixed costs of 455,000, and they want us to find how many units does the company need to sell in order to break even. Okay. So when we're taking a look at A, this is probably the most basic way that this information could be presented to you. Uh, let's try plugging it into our formula. The first thing we need is fixed costs. So taking a look at A, fixed costs here, $455,000, we can plug that into our numerator. So fixed costs, 455,000. Now for our denominator, the unit contribution margin, keep in mind that this is a formula, right? So unit contribution margin would be our unit sales price. So sales price per unit minus our unit variable cost, also known as variable cost per unit, right? So how much do we sell each of these units for? Well, $30. And what is our variable cost per unit? $17. So our denominator is going to be $30 sales price minus $17 variable cost. Enter $13 for our unit contribution margin. So how many units do we have to actually sell? Well, that's going to be 455,000 divided by 13. There's our formula again. We have to sell 35,000 units in order to break even. Let's take a look at B. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging this time. <clears throat> uh, in this example, we plan to sell 10,000 units. So, you know, it's kind of giving us some information that might not be relevant, but we'll see if we end up using it later on. Because remember, our goal is to find out how many units we have to sell to break even, not how many we expect to sell. Um, they also tell us that total sales is 500000 And then they say if the company has variable costs of $35 per unit and fixed costs of $37,500, what is the company's break even point in? Let's change this because we want to stick with units in units. So here, when we're taking a look at B, first things first, we need to find our fixed costs, okay? And they give us our fixed costs directly. Keep in mind that fixed costs are given as a total. So we need our total fixed costs in the numerator. And then in the denominator, again, we need that unit contribution margin. So we need our unit sales price and our unit variable cost. Now, while they give us our unit variable cost, I'm just going to put that down here for now, $35 per unit, they do not directly give us our sales price per unit. So we're going to have to use those numbers, the $10,000, 10,000 units and the total sales of $500,000 in order to calculate our sales price per unit. Right. So just to kind of remind you, if we're trying to convert totals into per unit amounts, uh, we simply take the total dollar amount divided by the units that it's applicable to, and that will give us per unit. Right. So just to kind of uh, put it into uh, a, a qualitative visual for you, we have 
total sales and we are dividing that total sales by total units. Let's see if we can unmerge this a little bit, make it look a little prettier. Okay, there we go. So they give us our total sales as $500,000 and our total units they tell us is uh, 10,000 units. So we have $500,000 divided by 10,000 units. Let's go back to full screen. So now we can calculate our total sale, our unit sales price. $500,000 in sales divided by total units, 10,000 units, $50. So as you can see here, it's only one step uh, more complex than A. We just had to figure out what our unit sales price was because they gave us total sales rather than per unit sales. So let's plug that into our denominator. $50 sales price per unit minus $35 unit variable cost. $15 is our unit contribution margin. So if we divide that $37,500, let me actually type it out, we'll stay consistent, divided by our $15 unit contribution margin, that means that we would have to sell 2,500 units in order to have our revenues equal our costs. Uh, one more. So here in C, uh, we have when C company sells 20,000 units, it has a total contribution margin of 4 million and fixed costs of $25,000. They want us to calculate the company's break even point in units. Okay. So first things first, let's go through our steps. Do they give us total fixed costs? They do. So total fixed costs are 25,000. And then we need the unit contribution margin. Here's where we get to kind of apply what we just learned in B, just for a different area, right? So here they tell us total contribution margin is 4 million, but we need to know unit contribution margin. So we are going to take our total contribution margin and divide it amongst the units to find what our unit contribution margin is. So we find that we have fixed costs of 25,000, unit contribution margin of $200. Oh, they didn't like that. Give me a second. There you go. Sorry, hit my num lock. So 25,000 fixed costs, $200 in unit contribution margin. We have to sell 125 units to break even. So now that you're getting a little bit more comfortable with calculating the break-even point in units, our next video is going to go on to the next part in this series, which is going to be our break-even point in dollars, okay? So I'll be sure to link to that video in the description below. So keep in mind, if you want more practice, we have some practice quizzes and some extra practice problems on the website. Uh, like I said before, I'll include that link in the description below, okay? Uh, until next time. Good work and happy studying.